weekend marathon. Juggler Azam, Captain's Log. 2021, April 3rd. Is it 3rd? It is. All right. We are on the expedition mission. And we're advancing along quite nicely. Watch the stream and you get some drops. I watched the motor stream, so I got all the drops now. Hey, welcome to the stream. We just started the marathon. We're going to be on here 5, 6, 10 hours. Who knows how long? Uh, but let's see. We're going to keep on going. This is, since you just joined, I'll give you a little check out here. This is what I've done on the expedition mission so far. So I got this part done. We're about to collect the rest of my crops, I believe, to get this part done. Still waiting to earn enough money. And now we're starting also phase three. We skipped ahead a little bit, so we got we got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. But anyway, let's check our crops. Running on the PS5 performance mode. For the most part, going pretty smooth. Okay, let's see. We need. <clears throat> we got 17 to 35. Let's see what we got here. I think we're going to get it. So 15 more, I think. I'm not going to count. We're just going to see what I think. I think I, if I don't have enough, this would be pretty damn close. Oh, hey, four more. Oh, ho, ho. two more, but guess what? Oh, we're going to do it because this is not the only crop I have. So we are about to get this mission. We only need two more. <clears throat> Pretty sure I got two more somewhere. Let me look here. Um, your bases. Um, there we go. Here we go. This will be the final two of the crop. Look how nice and fast this part loads in the PS5. I think it's going to be like less than eight seconds, give or take. Eight seconds, ten seconds. I remember back in the old day on the PS4, I used to drop to the ground and do like 25 push-ups during this little time. I ain't got enough time now. All right. And here we go. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, yes, there they are. Get ready. Here we go. Boosh! All right. I might as well get the rest of them. All right, so let's check out our reward. There she be. Collect award. So we got glass construction modules and assorted vegetables. Huh. We got that. What are the vegetables, I wonder? Oh, we got a bunch of parts. Ooh, all the glass parts. Hey, nip nip. Look fruit, crab apple. Regis Grease. Get some mushrooms. Hey, what's up, T Rex's cousin? How you doing? Yo, bud, what's up, man? How you doing? Alright, we'll leave you alone for now. <clears throat> Let's so since we got a bunch of star bulbs now, let's uh, extend the farm here. Since it's free planting, no uh, containers required because it's in its home homeland. Oh, look at that land! I don't think I can get the. Uh, oh, 
There we go. It was a little tricky, but we got it. All right. Oh, here's some more. We're just gonna expand the farm here for future needs. All right. Now oh, let's see. Let's go back to the base. It's all about the base. All right. We're gonna extend our little crops here. Ah, we don't have Perithium, though. Hmm. Alright, we'll leave that go for now. So let's check out the old inventory. Yeah, I just unlocked this spaceship from doing the expedition. S-Class, right? Very nice. Almost a full inventory here. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pretty good. Let's see now. We want to get rid of this stuff because this is just wasting space. Ooh. We do have an expansion spot for my multi-tool. Alright. Let's see here. <clears throat> see here. Alright. Let's go up to your space station. You might notice you don't see too many uh, other plays in, in my game. That's because to uh, help with stability issues, since the uh, servers are still being expanded and this update's still pretty fresh, uh, I've have, I have in the settings, what I've done is I've turned off the multiplayer, turned off all this multiplayer network stuff, just to make it run smoother, because there's nothing worse than watching a live streamer and having the game crash, so... So far, that little trick has, has been spot on, and it's, in, it's been working pretty well. Now, next update, the release. Yeah, I'll turn on the multiplayer, see if it runs without crashes then, but we'll, we'll play this way for now. I think yeah, we got this guy ready, and but we can expand the gun. I call it the gun, but it's the multiplayer. All right, here we go. <clears throat> All right. I love the ship is like a lot of um, slots and it's that but I have to admit I don't like the style. I like more of the fighter styles. But anyway. Alright. <clears throat> now we're gonna go back to my freighter to unload some of the inventory. get far, a little bit further away. Alright. There we go. Let's unload some of this inventory. We'll put it in our storage because we 
might need it later. Let's see. Upgrades? No, no upgrades for this. Let's see, everything's unlocked, I believe. Oh, this isn't. So what do I need? I need two Corvax cubes. I have that unlocked. You see, Starship. Yeah, all these are unlocked. Any new things to put in? Oh, we got some possibilities here. Okay, so there's the hyperdrive. That's the hyperdrive. So put those next to each other so the. Uh, because if you put the light things side by side, they uh, have more power. Let's see, anything else in here? Okay, we do want to unlock. Oh, whoa, does this not even have photons unlocked yet? No, it does not. <clears throat> All right, so let's, let's open up the photon cannons, of course. All right, and... We got these guys. So, I guess might as well just put these here. Yeah, we want to unlock all this, all these goodies. Okay, I don't care about these things, but we will take advantage of the bobblehead. All right. So let's see. This guy definitely would unlock. So we need some sodium nitrate. Okay, microprocessors. Okay, we'll get the sodium nitrate first. We should make that with some sodium. There we go. We'll make it a little extra. We'll only go for about 30 seconds or so. Okay, that's, it. I think that's good. Okay, what was that for? There we go. Babushka. All right. What's next? Microprocessors. Uh, oh, we need more carbon. We'll save that for later. And we'll save that for later. Wiring loop. So we need one, two, three, four. <clears throat> five. Okay, so five of those. Alright. Let's go down here and save the game by jumping in the ship and out. We'll go to the space station one more time. And we'll buy those looms. But actually, first let's teleport further down the line. Because we do want to make it to the fourth expedition point, I believe. I think I'm on the fourth. Okay, so let me take a look real quick here. Discovery. So, the furthest away is here. Ooh, I can name some. Alright. What I like to do in my naming process is I'll use their... 
the random one they generate will be the first half and then I'll just hyphen it with my name right and that's how my name's on it but it's also randomly generated so it's different each time Well, that's just so convenient. We'll do it like that. And we'll do... All right, so we would go to Juggler Resembles here. And that's the space station. That should be my furthest point in space. So let's see, Juggler Razan was here, there we go. Alright. <clears throat> see how many viewers we got. Hey, we got one. And what do we got? Notification? Notification. Ah. I will be jumping back on soon. View party. Alright, let's see. Person just messaged dope. Yeah. Pax and I really like to build a lot. Currently walking on a temple of Blurzo. Basically, a button go around the abandoned bones to farm lava cores. I'll be jumping back on soon as I make copy. All right. Oh, perfect timing. All righty. Boom. And as long as we're here, let's learn some words. See how we can start to read the stuff now? That comes in handy in parts of the game, so it's nice to learn the language. We'll just do it high speed, though. So we learn a word that way. And then check this out. If you didn't know it, you might think, oh, I don't feel like learning the words, right? Ah, but there's more than just the words. When you practice language skills, you do three times each, each character, and every now and then, they'll give you a gift of a brand new recipe. So it does it does pay to practice. It's not just words. You get bonus parts in the game unlocked. So that's how I just got a word, but every now and then you'll get like a bonus part. Like those scanners on my spaceship, these dudes gave it to me. I didn't I didn't buy them. They they gave it to me from talking to them. So if you didn't know that, talking to uh different species definitely has its perks. Okay, this will be the last time for this dude. Oh, that's it. I must have miscounted. Alright, and as long as I'm here, I don't think I've earned enough respect to get a gift, but we'll see. I don't think I've done any missions yet, really. Nope. We're not buddies enough yet for that. And every space station I go to, I always sign up for every single mission and during the game, um, I, just by the natural process. Oh, here's a perfect example. I succeeded in submissions. I wasn't even trying to, but if you collect them all just during the normal play in the game, you're you're complete some of them. All right. Put handies in. Boom. And now we'll get some more. Yep, I just collect them all. I just played the game normal and just like accidentally I'll, I'll complete missions. <laughs> Alright. And let's talk to the next person. Yo, what's up, Enemy Slayer? Gijan. Tell me Hello Games is not a fan of Star Trek. Tell me the Viking are not inspired by Klingons. Tell me the Corvax are not inspired by the Borg. Tell me the Gek are not 
inspired by the Ferengi. Ah, uh, think about that. Uh-huh, did I just blow your mind? Yo, I like this dude's face paint. It's almost Juggalo style. Whoa, whoa. Now, all right, hey buddies. Okay, warrior. Urian. Always try to pick the word that's best for the species, so they're violent and care about honor, so that's why I picked blood. But yet it went down, so I guess it doesn't work every time. Herc is their legendary hero, I believe. What? How did they not like the word Herc? Weird. Oh, maybe it's just because I didn't learn the word yet, so I didn't pronounce it right. That might be it. See, there I got navigation. That wasn't too big of a deal, but every now and then you get something really cool. Actually, I'm rethinking myself here. I think maybe pick the words you have learned. That's what it is, I think, because it's practice. Maybe. I don't know. Grah! That's their whoop whoop. <laughs> Grah! Because <laughs> they say it all the time. Two most common phrases in their language. Grah and death. <laughs> all right. Okay, Let's see if we spoke to this dude yet. Nope. Oh, I don't have the terminal yet, so. Sorry, buddy, you can't join the awesome Juggler Zam crew yet. We didn't get that far. Okay, we visited them already. Okay. Hey, we got an effigy. Got another one. All right, let's see who's next. See, we got a chart now for free. Nice. We'll just pass along this gift. <clears throat> Yo, he's got those weird goat eyes. All right. Another chart. Very nice, very nice. Yo, other person. Personal space, man, back up. Okay, 
we visited them. All right, this probably is the last one. Lots of charts. See? That's what I'm talking about right there. See, it unlocked something for you. See how it's worth talking to them? See that? you yet. Hello there. I'm seeing the pattern. The wear gave me a chart. Right? To help me get to somewhere, so that makes sense. Okay. Right? Hmm, honorable. I don't know what that does. Okay. Okay. Pathetic. What does that do? Okay. What's up, homie? Command increase the standing. Let's get another chart. Let's see if the pattern's correct. Where it gives a chart. Eh, not every time. Alright. Okay, so I think we spoke with all of them. And since this, I believe... Is this a new space station? What's the name of this one? No, I was here before. Okay. So let's hop in and out to save the game. <clears throat> and now... <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go back to the main expedition missions. Okay, so that's just going to be on the money. And you can just push the D-pad up and down to go scroll through them. Like, you don't have to click over here, which is convenient. So let's see, Ryan V3... Okay, so expeditions, artifacts, nine nights, deep space anomalies, five. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do part of that. All right, so we're going to hop out. Gonna hop out here. I have one of those things in my storage. I think I have it. I might have sold it. But maybe I have it, because I didn't look ahead, so I sold it. Maybe. Because I thought I didn't need it. But we'll see here in a moment. So after this, I'm going to start hopping towards towards the um, the fourth expedition rendezvous point. And we'll do stuff on the way there. Kind of kill two birds with one stone kind of thing. done because we got to do five of these right all right so 
Let's see. Expeditions. Four or fifteen. Okay, we gotta do a bunch of these. So let's, let's line up the next one. Okay, let's see. The shortest distance. Oh, I only got one more for today. I don't know if I have enough fuel for this one. Um... Oh, we need some more fuel, as suspected. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Oh, well, that's enough. I don't know. I, I forgot the, the amount. So 200. Let's see. That enough for 3,500 light years. We're going to find out. It is. Nice. All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> so I got some stuff in my throat there. All right. Guess what? I don't care about this. It's just wasting a slot as far as I'm concerned. I just need these three. The mine, the terrain, this dude. I don't care about this stuff. Not at all. All right. So we're going to unpin that recipe. Anything else I want to get rid of? Nope. All right. Now, do I have... Yes, I do have one in storage. Where was it? I just saw it. Oh, got to go over. There we go. All right. Do I want to move anything else from the storage? Back over and over. Might as well do that. Might feed some creatures next time I meet them. Let's see what else will come in handy. Uh, I'm just going to sell a few things for units in the quest of... Uh, Getting the six million units goal. I don't want to sell anything real rare because I might need it, but I'll sell stuff I can easily get. do want to store these guys these are wasting space man i'm getting a lot of fireworks as prizes that's for sure Oof. i'm gonna save this for guess what the fourth of july we'll set them off at one time but anyway let's see do we want to sell anything else i guess and eh, it's not worth selling it's so small we'll save it for if we need it All right. Okay, there we go. Okay, back to the expeditions. So, let's shoot for hmm, Uncharted. Oh, we got to discover a bunch of those. Mm. This we might would do eventually. We'll save that for later. So let's work and get into the fourth line to viewpoint. All right. As we're doing stuff, we might as well head towards the fourth at the same time, right? All right.
out of curiosity, let's see how many jumps we are. Uh, once I get my hyperdrives leveled up, it'll be a lot easier. But let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like we're six jumps away. All right. Uh, oops. Let's uh, go to the next one. All right. Hold on one moment. I'm just uh, updating something on my phone, like literally 10 seconds. Okay, let's see. Alright, almost done. Okay, and... We're looking good. Alright. So I have a viewer. Hey! Thanks for looking. Let's get the heck out of here. Leave me alone, hostile. I don't think I'm gonna escape. You're not gonna escape, am I? Alright, I guess we'll just kill you then. Okay, well, I unlocked the photon. That's my favorite weapon. I forget if I upgraded this or not. Yeah, I did. Alright. Let me check my sound for a second. I guess this is good. Just adjusting my headphones a little bit. All right. All right. Okay, let's sell some stuff for some units.
Ooh, see. there's lava things are uh lava eggs are worth pretty good money. <clears throat> and with that said, let's see if we were to stock up on some supplies. Yeah, I need some of these. I think five, but let me double check. Hey, boom! We got the jackpot milestone. Let's see what we're going to get for that. All right. So let's see. Hey, there we go. Boom! Alloy crafting blueprints and geodesite times 20. All right. Babushka! Okay, hey, 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 nice. Look at all that stuff. All those blueprints unlocked. Whoop, whoop. Oh, yeah. And now, let's sell the stuff we just got for more money. Ooh, this might take me to the six million units earned. I'll tell you what, because I know I'm getting close. I'm getting pretty damn close. Let's see. Um. Hey, I told you I was getting close. Boom. Another milestone mission complete. Okay, let's get it. There it is. Babushka. Ooh, three more inventory slots. Very, very, very nice. All right. Let's see. I will go for the. These are the larger inventory slots, I believe, aren't they? Nonetheless, we're going to get them. All right. And I guess maybe just to unlock a bonus, I'll, I'll, I'll build that. But I really find it pointless because I have a portable refiner. So for me, it's like, eh, no thanks. Just wasting space if you ask me. All right. All right, but now let's see. What do we need? We need... Um, Three wiring looms for this. And three for that. We need six. We need to buy six. Oh, we accidentally clicked on this dude, but that's okay. Let's learn some words. See? Oh, I already earned that, though. That's weird. I thought I had that already. Hmm. But see how it, it unlocks stuff? Right? Oh! Hold on. Hold on. I also completed the entire Phase 2. Nice! So we got Phase 1 completed all the way. Now Phase 2. Collect the rewards, baby. We're knocking them out. Ooh, a new gun. Looks pretty. Let's see, let's compare. So this is B, this is C. Oh yeah. Now this one's got 16 slots, so this one's better. But this one's more powerful slightly. Hmm, less slots, but this is, yeah, this is B. Oh, we'll take it, of course, we'll add this to the collection. All right. Nice. We got the new multi-tool as a reward. All right. So let's see. Yep, we got that unlocked. Make sure I didn't... I'm just going to make sure I clicked on all my rewards that I actually collected them. I think so. Okay, yep, so they're collected. 
it'd say X to collect if I didn't. So yeah, I think I collect all, got all these. Yeah. All right. So we got all of these. Now we're in phase three and four. Okay. We got three more phases to go. Three, two, five. Okay, so let's see. Discover an abandoned system. Oh. That's easy enough to do. I think. Is it? We'll save that for later, though. Um, let's see. So let's go, yeah, let's go back to trying to get to the fourth. All right. Well, you know what? As long as I'm here, let's talk to everybody. Let's learn some words. Apple Watch told me it's time to stand. So I'm going to stand. All right. Always can use warps, especially when I'm trying to get to the fourth point. So yeah, definitely warp fuel is a good thing. I did notice it showed it three times, but I only got one of them. Hmm.
What's up, little Gek, who looks like a gecko? Alright, guess I can sit down again now. Long enough. Alright. Oh, Sorry, dude, we do not have any terminals yet. Oh, we visited them, visited them, visited them, visited them. Oops, as long as I'm sitting down, I might as well charge the Apple Watch since I ain't doing much of anything. Alright, there we go. Oh, I forgot that was that dude. All right. Okay. Yeah, did I get missions from this dude yet? I don't think so. Okay, let's see, they're all in progress. Okay. I don't think I'm high enough yet to get a gift, but we'll give it a try. Nope. Not yet. I almost talked to everybody.
one more. Okay, and since one of the missions is to, is to find ancient runes, let's trade for seeking those out. Let's see, so it's not that. What's this for? Distress beacons, outposts, ancient artifact site. Okay, so that's what we want. Ooh, nice. How many can I get? Nine. Okay, we got nine of those. Let me look at the mission. So, there we go. The collector, collect ancient artifacts. Ten, and I got nine, and I need nine more. Well, look at that. Perfection. Couldn't ask for it to work out better than that. So we're going to knock out that mission right now. And let's see, did I discover this station first? I doubt it. Let's see if we can name it. If we did, nope, somebody got there before me, obviously. All right. All righty. Now, let's, uh... well, let's do this right away. Let's get this out of the way. All right. This is also a challenge. Okay, one of five, so I got one. I just wanted to make sure I didn't have to do anything special. Now we're gonna put this on the mission. There we go. All right. So let's knock these bad boys out. And... All right. Let's see, where is this dude? I like the new icons. Okay, here we go. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be a week to get there. Oh wait, we can go faster. <laughs> 69! Oh, 68 now. So it says one of ten, so I don't know if this is going to work. I wonder if it's uh, tourist eyes. Well, okay, so this might be a mission. So let's do this. All right. Yeah, I don't think this is it. It's the one where you have to dig stuff underground. Hmm. 
well, well, well. This is suck. I think that's where I have to click on. Oh my goodness. Is there anything buried nearby here? I don't think this is the kind of spot that has that. Um, hmm. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. There we go, that's what I need to get. So yes, this should work out just fine. Oh, I can't resist. Can't resist doing it. Get all of these keys. That's the key to this mission.
All right. There is. Okay, where's where's the treasure at? Should be somewhere in the middle here. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's another key. I see it's left though, but we'll get this key. It's kind of like an extra key, but it'll be good for the future then. Alright, and the second of ten is right there. Lewd picture graphs. Nice. I found ancient porn, dude. I found ancient porn, man. Now that is a treasure. Look at that. Written in an otherworldly script, this manuscript is covered with strange marginalia. Generations have added notes and diagrams to the original text, some of which are highly disturbing. Lewd photographs. <laughs> All right. And you can see at the bottom. Now it says two of ten. All right. So let's hop out and in to save the game. Let's go up in space. And now we're going to find the third one. I'm not sure if it works every time, but we're about to find out. I know some will find a portal and not ancient ruins, but we'll see here in a moment. Again, we might as well learn some words. Oh, you sentinel. Hey, hold on. Um. Yo, these guys are shooting on sight. They didn't even do anything. Hold on. I'm afraid because I'm so weak. Let's see if we can do this super fast before they kill me. That was not the correct answer. Screw it, it's only fifteen seconds to load. Let's 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 load up. Let's load up and pick the other choice. Don't worry, the progress is not consistent. How only sixty percent is like 
A 25% is just going to be done. Just going to jump to the instant being, being done. And what about now? Poof. It's done. Alright. So. Now we know which choice to make. You know, actually, one of the missions is to kill these guys, so let's, uh, let's knock that out. Oh shit, I don't have the shield yet with this new gun. Let's, uh, rectify that. Hmm. Hmm. I guess we can't. Not right now. So we'll just do the run, run and gun. Oh. Time to leave. I ain't doing that without a shield. Alright. But let's see. Um, so 50 Sentinels, they'll just happen natural. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Okay. Alright. So you don't find an ancient runes every time, but you do sometimes. Here we go. We're going for the next one. Oh, that's going to do it. Oh, where... Where is it? There we go. Oh, we're going on a globe, so that's a curved line. So a straight line is always faster. That's why you go up. And down.
We'll kill a couple more before going. Let's get close to the uh Oh, we're gonna use the ship as the shield since my shield is not active yet. Alright. artifact is very nice very nice moving quite along Kill two birds with one stone. We are going to hide under the ground. So they're gonna go. They're gonna go away. There we go. Deactivate it. And now we can also find the treasure. We'll just continue underground for now. We won't worry about the centrals. We'll just uh, keep it underground. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Um. oh, you followed me down here, you bastard. You weren't supposed to do that. It's naughty.
Again, we're just keeping in the underground tunnels to keep the sentinels, sentinels at bay. Alright. Okay, <laughs> we uh, blocked them in behind that wall, and now we shall continue. There we go. That's what we want. All right. So we found ancient porn last time. What's this one? Historical document. All right. Three of ten. And since they're right here, might as well kill three more. Maybe they're going to stay underground. Yeah, we'll just keep. We'll just leave them under there, unless they pop up. We'll leave them go. Oh. Mm. Nope, they're still underground. Suckers. Okay, let's go from the next one. Is it an artifact? That's what we're looking for, artifacts, not monoliths. Hey, we got another one. All right. Hmm, ancient plaque. I don't know if that's going to do it. That might lead me to a portal. But, we'll give it a try. Oh, we got to go up and down. That's what she said. With these different missions, I should be unlocking the 5,000 Nanite mission as well soon. Alright. these guys
Peekaboo, I see you. I'll, I'll pimp slap you. I'll get a pimp, pimp slap you instead. I'm, I'm, I'm committed to the pimp slap. One more pimp slap. <laughs> All right. Ooh, off planet. Let's do it. Run! Oh, I think I'm gonna have to fight him. We'll see. Yeah. Man, if Twitch wasn't so tough about copyright rules, I'd be playing my Insane Clown Posse No Man's Sky playlist on Spotify. It's a great list to play to the game. Just search on Spotify, Juggalo, Razam, No Man's Sky playlist. Find it. I think I have enough keys until I don't have enough keys. I'm, I'm just gonna grab them. I think I have extra keys now, so let's get them. There we go. All right, what do we find this time? Um, hello? Oh, okay. Corvax pamphlets. Hello. Have you discovered our Lord and Savior, the Atlas?
something. Um, twenty-nine to fifty. Oh, we're getting pretty close. Yeah, let's, let's knock a couple more out. What's that? <gasps> what? What? Yeah, hold on. See what's going on. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Hopping in and out to save the game in case you're wondering. Alright, so let's get the next one. You know, I'm going to try something after this. Let's uh, find the uh, thing, the artifact thing. All right, so we're gonna go up, 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 and down, 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 down. Can I land on top? Nope. Missed it a little bit. Sorry, though. Hey. The Sentinels are not the natural order. Things must far, fall apart. And their endlessness and replication, the automatons, prove themselves abominations. They must be purged from existence. All will die, whether through righteous battle or the assault of time. Seek knowledge of the past. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I renamed my uh, ship here. Okay. Let's see what we shall call the, call the Mighty Beast. Let's go for... The 
Yum Yum Bedlam 665 ICP. You know what's up. And we don't want two 665 ICPs. We're going to alter this a little bit. There we go. And that makes more sense though, because the the whoop 17, it's like the block 17, right? Alrighty. Oh, you know what? It is now. Hey, Siri, what time is it? I'm gonna make my uh, lunch real quick. Like, I'm on an all heel diet right now, so my lunch will literally take like two minutes to make. So just chill out. I'm gonna land her first. How long have I been streaming? Eh, about an hour and a half. Ooh, I got some alerts. What's the alerts? Hold on, just checking the alerts. What did I get here? Um, started a voice chat 20 minutes ago. Hey, what's up? Woo woo. Hey, uh, just spending the day off in this No Man's Sky update. How about you? Eh, just chilling. Hanging with my peeps. Oh. Yeah, the update is pretty fucking cool. I like it. Yeah. It's, uh, gives you, gives you kind of a little bit of direction. Gives you something to do. Right. But honestly, I believe if they had made that update before, like, back when this game first, like, started to get good, the communities that have been created now wouldn't have existed. Just because that's why there's so many healthy communities, is because everyone's like, well, how the fuck do I do this? And someone's like, oh, I've done that once, but do you know how to do this? And someone else is like, oh, I know how to do that, and, like, yeah. Yeah, it was all it was all meant to be. It's it's weird, mm -hmm. but if this game were to launch day one, it's like eh, but it, it keeps on changing. So I think yeah, I agree. Right. <clears throat> I wonder if Cyberpunk will take a lesson from them. <laughs> probably that's probably why Cyberpunk is just such garbage right now because that's normally that's like the way you got to make a game now is you got to put it out and then slowly tailor it to the community that chooses to play. Like, Grand Theft Auto V put out a fucking game, and, like, they didn't tailor it to that community. They just did what they want, and look what it is. It's like a horrible place to be. <laughs> you're either dropping extra money just to play the game, or you're getting fucked up by some asshole on, like, a flying whatever with a homing lock rockets. Mm -hmm. You can't do anything. Like, or, yeah. I don't know if I'm as lenient with uh, Cyberpunk as I am with Hello Games. As Hello Games, I think their crew was just like eight people in, back in the day. I think Cyberpunk is like a big, big team. <laughs> so I don't know what their excuse is. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how many they used. I know they they said that they're leaving 12 co coders on here indefinitely, though. So. <clears throat> Have you heard the rumor that, that Hello Games is working on like a real big game, but they're not saying anything about it, so it's done? No, I, w I wouldn't doubt it. Like, this was their first biggest game, dude. This was their first, like, hardcore. If you go play their other games, you go play them, and you're like, okay, so where did No Man's Sky come from? Like, what? <laughs> or where did you guys come up with this? Like, and all their other stuff is so... I mean, it's candy-coated, but you play it, and it feels like like a tablet game or a uh -huh. cell phone game you know oh. then all of a sudden just left turn <laughs> I know the owner has to love Star Trek because I see a lot of similarities oh, yeah. with it like like the uh, Corvax is the Borg the the Viking is the uh, what the uh, Klingons <laughs> In a way. Well, have you found have you found one of the uh, Easter eggs? There's like one Easter egg 
in every single solar system. It's easier to find it if you go to a solar system that just has one planet, but every solar system has one ta uh, like ancient stone that you should walk up to, and it's all glowing and shimmering, and it's got writing on it, and if you write it down and then go put that in the mirror and read it read it backwards in the mirror, it'll say, uh, in a galaxy, a long, mm -hmm. long time ago in a galaxy far away, and then just like quotes every space movie ever. <laughs> like that <laughs> little fucking thing. It's funny. Have you, you played the game up. for a while? Like if I say something, am I going to give a spoiler, or are you, you know everything in this game already? I have played for a while. The two ladies that are hanging out with us have not, so don't, uh, don't yeah, spoil we'll, the storyline. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah, we won't give anything away then. The caves are amazing if you played the VR version, I think. Oh, I don't have a VR version. I'm waiting until the VRs get a lot better and a lot cheaper for being better. Like, Yeah, I'm excited they're yeah. coming out with the VR for uh, PS5. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're definitely going to. Yeah. <clears throat> but I'm going to wait. I want the graphics to get a lot better. And... I don't want to drop a thousand bucks on something that's going to fuck with my <laughs> vertigo. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, drop a thousand bucks, and the first time you play it, you're like, huh? Like, <laughs> <laughs> it would suck so hard. In real life, roller coasters mess with me. VR doesn't bother me yet, though. Except the one thing, if I'm in VR... Like standing on something really high, looking down. I know it's fake, but it still freaks me out. <laughs> right. <coughs> okay. Oh yeah. Can I suggest you put a purpose to the base? Like, something that harvests stuff, or, like, maybe a, a base that it will, you'll be able to plant flowers outside. But, yeah, it kind of sucks when you build a whole bunch of bases, and then you're like, okay, there's no reason for them. And you go to them, and there's, like, nothing around for you to utilize. And, and here's my tip, like, name your base something that it tells you about it, because eventually you might have hundreds of bases here, I have no idea what, what each one is. Right. You're <laughs> like, what, what, what is, what does this word even, is that even a word? <laughs> like, I keep it simple. I have no idea how to pronounce this thing. <laughs> my base names are boring. <laughs> my base is like, uh, um, Frost Farm Base. That's it. I try to get a little clever with them. Like, I got Fresh's Frosty Farm, Frosty Island, so I know that's where I go get my Frost Crystal. Or, like, the a Temple of Glorzo. I just. I saw that. These temples. Yeah. <laughs> so, it, you saw how, like, it's gonna. I'm gonna be harvesting the eggs around it. And it's funny because, yeah. you know how, <laughs> like, in the left hand, you see people doing stuff? I remember that base name popping up on the left side of all the names I've seen. That's the funny thing. Nice. <laughs> oh, are you guys, oh, yeah. like, did you watch the stream on Twitch from anybody so you get all the free drops? Nah. Check this out. What I did... <laughs> I just created a Twitch account and streamed myself and just put it on my phone <laughs> for two hours. I got all the drops just by not even watching it, just playing okay. it, and it was my own stream. Yeah, that's pretty fucking <laughs> clever, though. So there you go. That's a little trick. Uh, <laughs> it's technically not cheating, I don't think. I mean, you're doing what you, they wanted you to do. <laughs> so now I got my that's Class awesome. A ship and all that good stuff. Or class S. Oh. I, no, it's Class A. Yeah, but anyway. Yep. There you go. <laughs> That's fun. 
I'm like, why not? Work smarter, not I harder. I mean, there's, there's like nothing in there that you don't get. Like, you don't have to do it. It just speeds things up if you do. So, it's, I, I definitely see it's just another way of trying to bring the community to cat together and I hope that's what they're doing I hope they're trying to be like hey y'all might want to become a tighter knit community because I hope they're going to add PvP honestly I hope there's going to be like we'll go into a space arcade and go up to like one of the fucking teleporters and it teleported us into a galaxy where it's mandatory PvP and like you're on like a base on one fucking planet and they've got a base on the other and you can't just fly over to it because if you enter their atmosphere their defense systems start shooting it so you gotta go land on the other side of the base or go invade one of their bases and take it over and like that would be fucking dope dude like what what they did here is perfect like it's a whole game mode like if you like it go in but you don't have to that's the same thing it should be pvb exactly mode it's like go in if you want if you don't hey and and if you die you die you just spawn back on the fucking space anomaly and choose, are you going to go through the blue portal, or the red portal, or the yellow team portal, or, like, which which color of team are you going to be on, like, yeah. <laughs> now, I won't <laughs> take credit so for tough. this, because cause some random YouTuber, this is their theory, so I'm not going to take credit for it, but they said what would be cool, like, you know how you have those, uh, I don't think it's a, a spoiler, like, like dead space stations, right, you know what I'm talking about? Right, 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 right. So it's like, maybe there's an update where you go to the dead space station... And then there's a portal, especially there, that takes you to another another dimension, like another whole universe. And in this universe, it's like, it, everything's different. There's no Corvax. And then also, you know how, like, there's a system that'll say, oh, this is a Gex system, right? This is uh, a Viking system. And what it is, in this universe, the players, you try to take over the system. So if you win, you'll be like, oh, this is Juggalo's AM system, right? Right. I can't have you first, though. But, who knows? <clears throat> You never know yeah, with this game. I I, I I I didn't see the pets coming. <laughs> I dude, I thought I was dreaming big when I was like sitting there to I want to see lightning. I I want to be ar- har- able to harvest light. We can't harvest lightning yet, but like, ha- have you ever went with... to the Zen desk and and gave a suggestion? Oh yeah, I th- I always send them. Oh yeah, oh, they yeah. listen to that shit. They get a lot of the ideas oh, yeah. right from the community. Hell yeah. And uh, if if you also do that too, then please ask for a Galactic Arcade, bro. I've been I'll put that in. Everybody, yeah, that is the more people, the more likely, bro. <laughs> now, I t- I can't take credit for it because I'm sure I'm not the only one that thought of it. Back back in the day, if you'd look at the planet, it would just say your base. I suggest it display the name of the base, and now it does. So, <laughs> right. I'm sure I'm not the first, but there you go. Oh yeah, yeah, but that's. <laughs> Like, yeah, there's probably, like, handfuls of other people that they probably went, okay, people want to be able to see names of bases before you actually get there. So, like, okay, let's do it. This you is know, my dream, though. Hello Games. It's, yeah, like, yeah. Like, their, <laughs> like, their next game they're working on, how, you know, this is procedurally generated, I think it would be really, really cool. Like, RPG, procedurally, it's like every dungeon, oh, yeah. every monster, every dragon, every sword, procedurally, that would be cool. But I'm not fucking. I'm gonna wait till they put it out because what they did with this game, that's probably why they're leaving twelve coders on this game indefinitely. Is because they're probably just trying to not get sued again. I think they learned their lesson. Like I, I, I think just yeah. one day it'll be like there's an emoji of a dragon or something, and then like a week later, hey, here's our here's our new game. <laughs> <All right. laughs> now this one you got to buy. <laughs> I would, though. I would totally check it out, but I, I'm going to wait until update comes. I'll give, I'm glad I give this one the benefit of the doubt, honestly. But they got a good business model, because every update I'll talk to people, and they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm brand new, I just got the game today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll go on discount or something, yeah. So different than Call of Duty. Every year, sixty dollars. <laughs> Every yeah, year, right, dude? Forever, right? <laughs> Where, dude, I've played this thing for hours. Like, and the funny thing is, I'll you do, pay sixty I, bucks I'll... every year, and then you just play Nuketown the whole year anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 
And, and like, dude, it's basically the exact same game as the last one. Just upgraded textures, maybe more attachments, just more little things to preoccupy you, but really you're doing the exact same fucking thing. You get on a map and you go spray fucking bullets around and then like I I would be on the on the top of the leaderboard. I'm like, okay, but what did I achieve? Like fucking nothing. Like But guess you know, what? As long as they're making money, <laughs> why are they gonna stop? And you know what? I buy yeah, it every yeah. I buy it every year too. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's kind of like how Violet J and Shaggy they both like their new albums, dude. Have you heard what? There's one of their new albums. They not new, actually. It's kind of old. But after the Joker cards, they're like, oh fucking, we don't. In their lyrics of one song, he's like, we don't know what the fuck we're doing anymore. But you're still buying our shit, so it's whatever. <laughs> Tr like, Call of Duty for me, it's it's, <laughs> it's tradition, and all my friends play it, so I was like, ah, I gotta get it. And it's fun. All right. So, but that's that's. I got the free one. Oh yeah, nice. Warzone. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. It's so fun. hey, they it's they, they like they, a yeah. Call of Duty Battlefield hybrid. Yeah, like a like a a Fortnite without the building. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry though, I'm not uh, talking too much here. I'm gonna chill for a little bit now. I got like five oh, cups of coffee good. in me, so I'm I'm, I'm a hyper. <laughs> Silver's probably sitting there going, "Hey, another talker. Fresh is gonna like <laughs> I'm a talker as well. I definitely yeah. I'll just run my mouth for days. <laughs> it says voice chat. So I'm like, well, I guess I should talk. What's the point? It says right. voice chat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that is one of them. Uh, you, oh, you don't have the phone or tablet. Yes. Any of the rare metals, like copper, emerald, indium, or cadmium. Have you ever played, um, Journey to the Savage Planet? No. I've it's never even heard very it. similar to this, but it's like it's it's more like there's a set storyline, right? You gotta do what it says to do, but it's very similar to this, but with sarcastic dad jokes and and humor in. It's yeah. if it's ever on sale, it's a fun little game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And it's a PS4. <sighs> yeah. Yep. All right. All right. Cool. Just uh, YouTube it, see it what you think of it before you buy it, of course, but it's have funny. Have you played Outer Wilds? No. It's, what did I play? No, it's a total mind fuck of a game, dude. Like, holy shit. Let me like, think, that sounds forget. almost like a game I play. I don't know if that's the name of it. Oh no, I'm okay. thinking of the Outer Worlds. Yeah, I didn't play the Outer oh, Worlds. Oh, I've got that one too. That one's really dope. I, I yeah, really I like that game. That I played yeah. it twice. Right, Once right. as the good guy, and then the next playthrough, I made all the bad choices. <laughs> I, dude, I accidentally finished it. Like I'm sitting there, like, all right, let's fucking do this. Like I'm sitting there smoking on my weed, like enjoying the game, the beauty, the art of it. The first time I'm playing, and then all of a sudden, I finish the game. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I restarted it. Like, I just started out. Like, it's the first fucking town I got to, and if I can just finish the game. Like, I... Okay. <laughs> but, I, yeah, I love how there's so many fucking... I, I finished it four times, and then, then I was like, okay, I'll save some of these different endings. And apparently they've added new endings for us hmm. as well. So, yeah. Saving that for a rainy day. I don't know if you guys follow like PlayStation News and look at the stuff, but uh, if you m missed out on it, I guess this month they have some kind of stay-at-home thing where they're giving like like a whole bunch of games away for free and keep forever. Like you don't even need PlayStation Plus. Oh, cool. Yeah, check it out in the uh, the PlayStation Store. It's like like under Play at Home, and it has um, a bunch of them. 
I forget the names okay. now. But it's not out yet, but I think before the end of the month, it's going to be the, the Horizon game. The, the full game they're giving away. And right. a bunch of little independent ones. Okay, so how the fuck is that off kilter? I think what they're doing, the reason they're giving all that away is to try to compete with the Microsoft Game Pass. Or they might be trying to... Because... Oh, like, uh, the Corona is still, like, an ordeal. They're still trying to keep it under wraps. So, like, the, with the vaccines coming out, yep. I could see it being a strategic thing going, hey, guys, let's still stay home. Let's just chill together on some video games. And, and like, for know. all the people that want to buy PS5, but it's out of stock, it's like, okay, we'll, we'll give a bunch of PS4 games for free. Just, just hang tight. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? How did the base... It's off kilter, dude. I've attached all these fucking things. I've been snapping them onto the floors onto each other, right? Yeah. And now I'm I meet around to the opposite side of the base, and it is off kilter. Uh, it's it's just slightly adjacent. And if you're like me, you're gonna redo the whole thing, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's gonna drive me fucking nuts, bro. All right, I'm actually good. I'm pause my game for a bit and get a snack. And I'm just gonna put my mic on mute so you don't hear me making noise. So awesome. That's like one of my biggest pet peeves, bro. <laughs> I hate being that chew in the mic. Like, oh, you don't want to hear my my, my my chewing and blender going and pots banging? Why not? That's not that's not fun. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, Talk to you soon. We're done. What is the definition of an altar? Definition of altar. The table in a Christian church of which oh. the bread and wine are consecrated. Okay, well then, I don't want to label it that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gazebos of Glorzo. How about that? We'll make it the Gazebos of Glorzo. Because Glorzo is peace. Of course. Everyone knows it's coming up.
Uh, no, you're good. We were just fucking getting our nerd on. <laughs> That's all. Oh yeah. Chipotles. Oh. I used to work at Qdoba and like the guy that owned that place actually had like a sense of humor and he changed the the uh, titles of the na the line names like that <laughs> he like he even went around calling it you are now a quesadilla engineer and a burrito technician <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I was just I was just digging around. I was just like really stoned at work and like just digging around, cracking some jokes with them. And like he's like, well, "What do you call it?" I was like I, I'll be the uh, quesadilla engineer. He's like, "That's a fucking awesome dude." But <laughs> another cool boss that was dope. Until he, like, pulled some weird fucking card on me, and, like, he scheduled me for work, and then, like, I was like, bro, I told you I can't work that day. I have a choir concert. I have to do my fucking school. I'll fucking fail this thing, and, like, choir's, like, so easy. Just show up, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> you don't even have to be a good singer. Just show up. <laughs> like, yeah. I was like, bro, I have to, dude. Like, you're telling me I've, like, that's, that's illegal, bro. He's like, dude, you gotta go to work or you gotta go to your little choir concert. What, what is it? Like, bro, it's fucking my choir concert. <laughs> Come on, guy. I was, I was like, 14? Uh, like, 50? If your parents sign off on it, yes. And it's a, um, uh, a school program. It's a school program on trying to teach you to get ready for the real world. Like, this is how you go to work. All right. <laughs> and, like, we had to go from school to the bus stop to work, work for, like, two or three hours, and then go to, uh, back to the bus stop and go back to school, and then we had to go do like our other two unless that was your last class of the day but pretty much yeah and the companies that did that got major tax write-offs because oh shit so yeah there's no wonder that they did <laughs> Basically, your boss was your kind of your teacher at the same time. But I'm pretty sure he got, he got in trouble because I I told my fucking my choir teacher, I told her about it, and she she like got this really really pissed off look on her face. I was like, oh, she's triggered. <laughs> yeah, she was not fucking happy, and like yeah. Okay, let's see if this works before we carry on. Gazebo of Florzo. Here we go. Oh, we're still inside. Oh, don't push me outside. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. It still works. Hmm. 
No, that is not. That'll make stone, I believe. Do you see emerald, chromatic metal, or indium around you? Give it a bit of flavor. Then we'll just make sure it's a safety zone. No, oh, you can't come in here.
Also, the ones that say activated will help you with that process, too, if you ever saw one of those.
no. Did you save recently? Well, a frozen screen is better than a crash. Don't give up yet. It might it might start again soon. I know. Yesterday, mine froze like three times. If it lets you do it, if you're stuck, if, if you might be totally stuck, but if you push down on the D-pad, if it lets you go to the galaxy map, just warp someplace else, that'll let you escape unless it's all the way frozen. That's why if you ever play with me, you're just like see me jumping out of my spaceship like every every two minutes. Like, a, yeah, like a madman. It's like uh, I learned that the hard way a long time ago when I built a huge base, and you know what happened. You know the rest of this story. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Especially after update, you definitely get really heavy on the stage. <laughs> It's better now than it was. The I played it the very first day of the Expedition update. Oh man, it crashed like three times in 20 minutes. Me and me. Oh yeah. It was really bad for me. Anything to do with the uh, space anomaly? It was, it was like, I was having a really tough time, so I just had to go chill on the planet or on my base or whatever. I forgot I'm a new character. I'm almost dead. I'm used to being full power. I forgot I have to charge my stuff every now and then because I don't have a lot of shields. <laughs> Great. Did you find that when you first started playing? It was just like, oh crap! I'm at I'm at the beginning again. I have to be careful. <laughs> for for the uh, expedition. Thing. Yeah, because yeah. my normal save is like I'm all maxed out. So it was kind of cool that you started in the it. beginning. <laughs> yeah, but they gave you a reason to restart. It's not just, oh, I'm just going to go restart. Because I've done that multiple times where I'm like, I'm just going to delete this 800 hours of a profile. Just exactly. Like <laughs> I missed the weekend missions too, so this is good. They brought those back, and this is how, I don't know how long it's there. Uh, Oh, they brought, they brought back the Weekend Missions? Yeah, oh. dude, if you go to the Anomaly, the Weekend Missions there. It was a surprise. I didn't even remember reading that news. I, I went there, I'm like, wait a minute, what's that symbol on the uh, next? Like, oh, shit. Yeah. The Weekend That's Missions. super dope. <clears throat> it gives you a fat grip of, of uh, Quicksilver. Like instead of just getting like four fifty, we'll probably get like I think I think it's like fourteen hundred. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's actually pretty dope. So the people that don't have the time to like jump on every day to go do two or three missions, they could go do weekend missions <laughs> and still go get all their quicksilver and be able to hang out with everybody, do their void eggs. And, yeah. Right? Super dope. I just realized I wonder, why... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, is that... I wonder if that's because they're going to be put, dropping more base stuff in there. Like... My guess more is, is maybe since a whole bunch of new people were jumping in the game, they wanted to give them a way to earn quick server quicker. I don't know. Right. Because I know a lot of people were complaining about that. It's like, ah, I can't get a lot of Quicksilver anymore. Yeah, there's a lot of people that just want, like, the fastest and easiest, like, route. Like, they don't even want to play the fucking game. I've gone in there, and there's people just sitting there asking yeah. me for it, resources. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, go play the fucking game, asshole. 
fucking could sit there and keep asking for resources over and over and over and fucking... Like, you've got a bio ship right there that I just scanned, and it has your name on it. So I know mm. you know how to play, fucking play the game, asshole. <laughs> So it's someone that's got like a C class um starter ship, yeah I'll drop them like something that gives them units, but it's not like I'm gonna go buy them a void egg or anything. Yeah, my original save game I have a, I think what do you call it? Active Iridium, something like that. I have a like a mining base that produces like two hundred thousand a day, so every now and then I'll give the beggars their uh stacks of uh Active <laughs> Here you go, peasant. <laughs> Feels nice to pretend I'm rich. I wish that's how it worked in the, in the real world. <laughs> just like find a random piece of land and you know just scoop up some mining for free and then get rich. <laughs> right. I went with the uh, fusion igniters and stasis devices for for my unit process. The only thing I ever kind of cheated on in the game is that that uh that that um the the living ship. I don't even know if it works anymore, but you know how you have to like oh wait twenty four hours or something? I would just go in the settings and fast forward my my day to day ahead. Uh, it's not too bad, right? I still did all the work. It's, it's late. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't give that many shits about it, honestly. I just, whenever I jumped on, I did it. I maybe, like, spent, it was maybe like a month that I spent on it. Just because I was like, eh, when I get there, I get there. Whatever. Is it me or does that ship look like a certain body part? part? That's all I'm saying. <sighs> From a certain angle. Do you... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought they were space wheels. Like, I thought it was their take on space wheels, because... Yeah, but apparently they're going to add space wheels, or they saw coding in the game for something about space wheels, or shit like <laughs> that. And I thought, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what the deal is details of it were, but it made me go, I thought the bio ships were the, air quote, space wheels, and air quote. Uh. Do you, Juggalo, do you uh, play Red Dead Redemption 2 online? It's funny you should say that, I didn't play that yet, I played GTA and all that, but I saw they have it for sale now, I think. Like in the PSN, I think they have a 40, 40 bucks. I'm like, man, I think I should get that. But I'm like, now I'm trying if to beat this expedition. I ain't got no time and, for it. <laughs> if that's a storyline, <laughs> yeah, is it the standalone or is it the storyline and the. It's it's the whole online. game. It's the whole game. It's on yeah, sale. Definitely get it, dude. Red Redemption 2. The, like, right? The second one. The storyline alone, dude. Like, knowing what I know now, I would have dropped 200 bucks just for the storyline. The storyline is, like, a phenomenal fucking game, dude. Like, masterpiece. Yeah. <laughs> It'll fuck with your emotions, like. There's, like, a really big nerd base about it. Some people, like, are way too obsessed with it, where, like, you'll go hang out with them on online, and everything... Oh, you're the Sadie Adler of this, or you're... You're, you're the Dutch of the group. No shit, I'm the huh? fucking posse leader, asshole. Hmm. Like... <laughs> just comparing every... It's fucking weird. <clears throat> but, yeah. There's some mega nerds on it. And the funny thing is, I have a gift card for PSN somebody gave me, so it's not of my own money, but I didn't want to waste it, so... I, I knew it was a good game. I love people told me, so you guys just, uh, you pushed me over the edge. I'm going to be down with that later today. Yeah, if, if that storyline's on sale, definitely get it. Now... I'm curious, let me double check. Online mode. Yeah.
All right, so it's a little bit, it's the rock star tradition. It's a little bit like uh, GTA. If you go on the online, you're just going to die instantly. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I'm in the PS Store now. Let's see what it says. It says Red Dead Redemption 2, Standard Edition, $29.99. So I guess, is, it, is that it? It's just a Standard Edition. Yeah, not just the offline. Yeah, let's see. Where's the description here? Hmm. Twenty nine ninety nine. Hmm. Well, it does say PS Plus required for online play. So you'd think it wouldn't say that if it's not the online edition too, right? Hmm. Okay, so I see three choices. I see it says Ultimate Edition $99, which is online, Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode, blah, blah, blah. It says Red Dead Online $19.99, and it has Standard Edition $29.99. It's not clear if the standard comes with online or not. Hmm. It does for sure? All right. Yeah, I usually don't do that kind of stuff. All right. So I'm going to get this downloaded. Oh, man. It's been so long since I bought something. I have to look at my password. Yeah, if you guys got any extra money laying around, I guess in the store they have a up to 75% spring sale going on right now. I hardly ever get games at full price. Every now and then I will. Like I'll probably get the new Resident Evil when it first comes out. But unless it's like really something I that's awesome, I'll, I'll usually wait a little bit. I tell you what, Rockstar takes a hell of a long time to make a game, but they put out the game that works, not <laughs> the, you know. The story mode, I don't know what the online mode, but the story mode I never had any trouble with. Tell, tell that to Cyberpunk. <laughs> mm -hmm. how long ago did that game come out how old is that game red dead 
Wow, man, I'm jumping in. I'm jumping in late. <laughs> what the hell was I doing? Huh. Well, that's weird. Hmm. I'm just talking out loud. It said, not enough space for Hitman 3. It's downloading Red Dead Redemption 2. It said, not enough space for Hitman 3. I'm like, I don't think I have Hitman 3. I didn't order that accidentally, did I? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Installed game library. Where's my purchase history? <clears throat> well, son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, what the hell? Did, how the hell? It says I bought Red Dead Redemption 2, yes, but also Hitman 3. Well, it was a free gift card, so. <laughs> but it's like, what the? Well. Yeah, that's what must have happened. I probably had it saved in the cart and just put checked out without reading it. Well, you hear anything about Hitman 3? Is that a good game? Because I got it now. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I did the math. It looks like that was full price. It was it was, it was sixty bucks for Hitman Three and thirty for the other. I had a hundred dollar uh, gift card, so it wasn't it wasn't my money. It was a gift, but okay. <laughs> oh shit, that's embarrassing. At least it wasn't my own money. That's that's the saving grace. That's probably what it was. If it was my money, I'd be more careful. I was, oh, I get a gift card. Pop, pop, pop. So, all right. Well, I know I was thinking about buying it. It was on my list, or it wouldn't have been in there, but, you know. Well, my son will be happy because we game share, so he'll have some new games, too. <laughs>
So let's So for for 60 bucks I got Hitman 3 and it says Deluxe Edition. It says like Chong Queen, Mendoza, Mountains, Dubai, Dartmoor, Berlin, Deluxe Pack. So I guess I got a lot of shit. <clears throat> Cool. Yep, no spurs. That's usually how, if I really like a game, like I'll play as the good guy, but if I really like it, then I'll go back and just play as the jerk, just see what happens. <laughs> That's my tradition. All right. That's the point. <laughs> People getting shot in the Old West? What? I thought we were going to build a campfire and toast marshmallows. <clears throat> oh nice i just noticed that so red dead is of course ps4 but the uh, hitman 3 version i got is the ps5 version so that'll be sweet oh is there is there a ps5 version of red dead 2 or just like it lets you play oh okay just like no man's sky okay all right. Mm. Oh, the port, that sucks. The only way it breaks is if you shove it in an hour or trip over it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what have I done? We got Ex uh, Expedition, Hitman 3, and Dead Red Dead Redemption 2. I ain't got no time. Too much games, not enough time. I gotta win the lottery so I can just stay home all day and play. <laughs> all right. 
back to No Man's Sky. So how far are you guys in the uh, expedition, if that's what you're doing now? I am not doing that right now. I'm just building uh, more Glorzo gazebo deals. Just chilling in. <sighs> oh, space with uh, my buddies. Hey, uh, are you back, Silver? I'm just chilling. Chilling, building. But I think way back in the day, I did play the first Mafia. If I remember correctly, I mean, I, I guess you can play it any way you like, maybe, but I think it was. You can do really like stealth, stealth kill style play, right? If I'm remembering right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think the first one I played through but, was like I did all the stealth kinds, like yeah. Oh, on Hitman. Yeah. Uh huh. On Hitman, it's like you're supposed to like be a fucking Hitman, dude. Like you're. Yeah. It's not just like stealth all the time. Like sometimes. Yeah, you mix it up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I just remembered I had a flashback. I'm an old guy, I'm like fifty, so I just remembered I see it I saw a YouTube video where if I think I think I'm right, if you get the Deluxe Mafia three, you also get the PS4 VR version and the VR version seems dope as fuck because you have the two move controllers and you can sneak up behind the guy and pull the wire on the neck and it's like VR like in the game. Right. That seems pretty I'll have to try that out if it's if it's right. You ever go to any of the uh, gathering of the juggalos back in the day? No, I've been to uh, an ABK concert where, like, Violent J and Shaggy, like, they weren't even scheduled on the fucking thing, but they still went up on stage, and they were fucking there. That's and when like, it's awesome. <laughs> it's a total surprise. Yeah, dude, we, we, dude, I played fucking hacky sack with fucking Violent J. Nice. Like, I had, no, you know, I had no fucking clue. Like, this motherfucker just came up out of nowhere. It was like, let me hit that right quick. I was like, here you go, bro. And, mm -hmm. like, he just joined in the hacky circle as we were fucking puffing on a fucking blunt. Fucking... Later on, like he goes up on stage with this fucking face paint out on, uh, like holy fuck, no way! Like I, I was like, I remember that fucking outfit, like uh, I was just fucking hacking with that motherfucker. What the shit, dude? Like <laughs> no way. He's not sorry if he tricks you. <laughs> All right, <laughs> it was dope. Yeah, it's hard to believe Violent J and Shaggy Two Tilt. They're about my age. They're all, they're they're pushing fifty soon. That's crazy to think. Because uh -huh. he started like the, I think like right after high school, right? <laughs> well, I mean, like they were rapping in high school and stuff, and like doing their own thing, recording their own stuff. But I mean, they got big after, like in high school and like on their way out of high school. It's funny, like, how everything was just, like, it had to happen the way it happened. You know, like, back in the day, them handing out tapes for CDs, like, 
now with YouTube and everything, I don't know if they could exist because back in the day you get the like the Joker's card album and, and listen to the whole story, which now it's just like you just hear one song on YouTube. You don't listen to like twelve songs in a row. I mean, kids don't these days. And uh, and the only reason I heard of them is because Disney put all the records off the shelf. If Disney wouldn't have yanked them off the shelf and given them that free publicity, I probably never would have heard of them. <laughs> all right. I ain't gonna send any message. It's also pretty common to get if you just go fight like a bunch of space pirates and stuff, they'll give it to you on a frequent basis. I don't know, but remember, I think don't you get that from um, refining purified ferrite? I think. Yeah. So I think you could do like ferrite to pure, and then pure to magnetized. Maybe. I don't know. Or you can make a fire. From... Oh yeah. I have a, a rust mine. For uh, ferrite. So many different ways to play in this game. Right. Is going a lot faster. That picture I sent you of the the uh, like town looking base. There's a skyscraper you can actually go in and have like little cubicles set up with decks and stuff, just just for the hell of it. <laughs> yeah, I see that. I see this uh, expedition thing start uh, starting another galactic HUD because uh, like they had one like way back when the f game first came out. Like people like or when you could actually first see each other. People started meeting up and 
And then they did a universe reset, and they haven't done another galactic head, I believe. I don't know. There might be a couple of them out there, but... I want them to, like, start, like, making factions. And not just, like, make a faction on here. Make, like, actual Discord factions. Yeah. Like, Hello, uh, or Hello Game, fucking Discord... Juggalo faction. faction, right? Am I right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean... Like, that would be so fucking cool. Like, like, plans, maybe. Ugh. How would you feel about this? I'm, I ask this every now and then people, and it's like, so far it's like 50-50. You know how, like, right now you can land on a planet, right? You get in your ship and fly right next to the, right to the next planet, and there's no load screen, right? You just go. Right. So, if the price to pay, like, if they would, like, make it more so there's, like, way more variety of animals, plant life, like, it, maybe a planet would have, like, one section snow, one section jungle, you know what I'm saying? Like, bigger, better, cooler, but the price of that is when you go to the next planet, there's, like, a 15-second uh, load screen to make all that shit happen. So, I don't know. Oh, will yeah. you be will you be down with a little bit of a load screen to get way more variety? It's like fuck that load screen. <laughs> yeah, no, I see them a step and pass that eventually because they have been adding different biomes to here. So like you'll be in like a swampy area, then all of a sudden you'll start walking into like grassy hill areas, and then like a mountain region where like. The cliffs are ridiculously steep. Oh, know? yeah. Like, I don't like <laughs> this. Yeah. You can cliff dive. <laughs> but it'll all be... Yeah. So I do see them, like, eventually adding in something where, like... Well, sure, maybe there's trying to simulate a planetary rotation by putting, like, polar caps. You know? But, like, I don't see them ever doing load screens. That's the entire... Well, they could they, they 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 could be tricky about it, you know, like the portal. That that's kind of like a load screen. You know what I mean? uh, yeah, pretty much. But like that's <clears throat> yeah, they don't want you to have a load screen yeah. going into like a planet or a moon or anything. But oh, yeah. technically, it is a load screen when you're entering. Like you'll notice some like sometimes it'll be going out of the same atmosphere. And it might take a little bit longer, or it might, like, take a little bit longer to go in the atmosphere than normal. Like, sometimes it, like, wags out, and you're like, oh, okay. So, and it's a low screen. <laughs> Did you do the, the, the companion, like, the, the pet stuff yet? You're like, a half-ass, dude. Like, I've got a bunch of pets. I don't know what the fuck to, like, actually do with them, but, I mean... You, you can go to the anomaly and there's like an egg thing, right? You can, you know what I mean? You can, like, you can make yeah. them hatch an egg, right? Right. What I like about it is like, you put the egg in the thing, and then you can mix stuff in it, and you might get different colors or something like that, right? Which is fine. But what I thought was going to be the cool thing, what I wanted it to be was like, okay, you get like a T-Rex looking animal, you get like a turtle looking animal. And then go to a DNA thing and, like, mix it up together. So he's like, oh, look, this turtle has a T-Rex head. That's what I thought it was going to be like. like. Like, combining two creatures together. I thought that'd be funny. Well, 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 apparently you can. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> no, no one do I, but apparently you can do that. And you can, like, dye them certain colors and stuff. Like, certain elements. I've I been... see them adding on to that, too, because they've been adding on to the uh, food cooking process. I, you read my mind. I was going to say, I've done everything in this game all the way to the end, but the food recipes, like, oh, man. I've not done that because it's like, it's just randomly mixing stuff together, and I'm not going to cheat and go to Google and look up recipes. No, so it's, like, yeah. it's, not, it's not cheating. Just look up the No Man's Sky system. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like looking at a fucking menu. I just thought that they, they should do that, like at the, at, at the at the anomal anomaly. They should do like cooking recipe missions, and then that would kind of just guide you through it. Like each each day is a different recipe, maybe. You know. But like 
No Man's Sky's never been anything like that. Like, this is the first time they've ever had a structured, like, anything that slightly teaches you yep. <laughs> how to play the fucking game. Because normally it's like, okay, here's a tutorial. You got to the uh, space and I'm like, okay, go have fun. Yep. And like, ah, oh, well, what's this about? What do I do there? What do I do? <laughs> That's why the, the Discord communities are so healthy and like so many people like you go in there and ask for help and like you get like hundreds of fucking nerds like blowing your shit up going, Oh, this is blah, 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 you can do this and you can break it down. Silver, are you back? No, he is not. Wanna become famous? Buy followers, primes, and viewers on https colon slash slash cutt dot ly slash bcxag7f big follows com. What's up? I'm rereading a message. I misread. Oh, I think my game froze. I took a portal and I just noticed it ain't doing anything. Well, let's see. Let's see. Well, I went three hours today without a, a crash. That's not too bad. Alright, let's quit this game and go back in.